I'm so nervous. Okay, I think they're published. Now my first order two minutes in. That's insane. Like, I can't believe it. Thank you so much. I just feel really, really bad. Now for the exciting part. <sighs> Guys, I literally am my Aquari. Hello and welcome back to my vlog. I'm rushed because it's literally November 1st and it's 5.57 and it's launch day and I'm cutting it close because I decided I wanted to try to finish one last pattern and get it up before launch day or I guess launch time and it's literally 57 and I finally got it up but I'm feeling very chaotic right now. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. But anyways, if you're new here, hi, my name's Kenna. Subscribe. I would love to have you here. But what I'm doing for launch day is I'm launching my winter and holiday tubi pads and tubi clips and port covers. And then I have some that are not winter and holiday and some scrunchies. And this is for feeding tubes. I'm so nervous. And I technically didn't finish putting all of the snaps on for these last ones, but I'll get to it. Oh gosh, I'm so nervous. Okay, it's 59. I'm gonna start the publish. Okay, I think they're published. Okay. They're publishing. We don't know this is temp. Oh my gosh, I got my first order two minutes in. That's so exciting. You guys are so fast. Oh my gosh, another one? I, I can't say another one every time. Okay, there's three of them. Yeah, wait, yeah. I can't say another one every single time. That's gonna get annoying. We have eight orders within the first four minutes. That's insanity. Anyways, we are gonna finish these ones off and then I need to clean up my room. Worry, maybe we'll to January. The lost control when you call me, baby. Go down the road, you know you're coming with me. It's 40 minutes into my launch, and I have 38 orders. That's insane. Like, I can't believe it. Just thank you so much to anyone who supports me in any way, whether it's my Etsy, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, whatever. Just thank you. I honestly can't believe it. Like, I'm just, I'm just in awe. Whenever launch days happen, I feel quite overwhelmed. Because I know tomorrow, it's going to be crazy because I know a lot of people made multiple orders. So I'm going to have to, like, I'm going to um, try to, okay, where are my words? I need to, like, go through and see who ordered multiple times and, like, put those together and then, like, refund the shipping and all of that kind of stuff. I can't believe this. I just want to thank you again and i am going to respond to some messages and probably eat some food good morning it's tuesday aka packing day honestly this is crazy i still can't believe that this is my life and that i have this many people supporting me and it's just insane it's like 8 a.m so far this morning i just wrote out everyone's name on this paper i'm not going to show it just in case people don't want like their last name shared but i just wrote out everybody's name and then i circled the people who ordered multiple times so i know to look for their orders like you know however many times that they ordered and then i made a list of those people on another page and then to calculate like how much i'm gonna have to refund them for shipping because some of them ordered just like you know one more time some of them ordered two more times whatever so i am going to start the packaging process i decided i'm gonna send them all out tomorrow because i don't know if i can get all of this done today plan of action i'm gonna package the people who ordered multiple times first unless they are an international order i'm gonna do internationals last because those take a little time to make sure i'm doing everything right but for now we're just gonna do the ones with multiple orders let's get started i just cleaned my desk and we're ready to go So an update. I laid out 13 orders and just weighed them and printed out the labels. So now I'm gonna start packing this batch of orders and then I'll move on to the next one. And then a lot of these ones are the ones who ordered multiple times. So after I package all this, I'm gonna go through and then see how much I have to refund them and check those off as like being shipped. And then I'll move on to the next one and then I'll refund them either later today or tomorrow. So I just wanna get everything kind of packed and ready to go first. It's the memory fun. It's 6 p.m. 
and I'm still packing orders. It's way more than I thought. I did not expect this. I didn't film much because I was literally just packing and I, I feel like it gets repetitive. I have most of it done. I have six more orders to pack, but these are more complicated ones. So like these are some of the international ones where I think I had to find like a specific number or something. I don't know. And then one of them I know is really big. So I might pack that one tomorrow because I'm running low on energy. But yeah, I got a lot packed, which is good. And I've been keeping track of like how many individual items I have packed. And so far I've packed 230 individual items. That's insane. And that's crazy that I made all of that too. I don't know, that's crazy. This whole bag is full of orders. This is insanity. I cannot believe that this is my life. If you watched my vlog where I was preparing and getting everything together, this is my box of string. It was overflowing the top and now I don't even know if I'm gonna have enough. That's crazy. And I know there's a few more states I get to cross off on my little map. I have four so far, which I think is all the states I'm gonna have, but I do have a couple more countries that I get to mark off, I think. My room is a mess. Absolutely atrocious. I think I'm gonna try a couple of the international orders. I'll start with one and see how I feel after that, how that goes. Okay, the first one was easy because I forgot this one wasn't in Europe, so that one's easy. It's only when it's in Europe. You need a specific number. So I'm gonna do one in Europe now and see if I can figure it out. <laughs> but I'll chase rainy days. Oh, I love the way you taste. On the mattress where I feel safe. The look of blue so on your Okay, I found the number. I hope it's right and I hope it works. Crossing my fingers. I am now gonna go force myself to take a break. I have four orders left, but I have an issue. I must have miscounted the stock for one of them. So I'm short a tubi pad for gingerbread man. I was already planning on going to the Joann's tomorrow because I decided I'm gonna restock like three patterns. I asked which ones people would want restocked and I picked the most popular like one. And so far the gingerbread man is one of them. I just really hope that they have it. They don't. I am going to feel like an awful person. I was planning on going in the afternoon after I finished packing, but it looks like I'm going in the morning. It's okay. Stay calm. Stay calm. So I'm going to pack this up. I think I'm going to make a quick TikTok and then I'm going to go shower and eat. My hair always looks kind of crazy when it's drying, so ignore that. It's 8.30 and I ate and then I just went and prepared the last three orders. I'm not packaging them tonight. I just put them in their own separate bags so that way it makes it easier to package tomorrow and i was just trying to find the one to be pad that i was short but i discovered what i did i have an extra to be clip in the gingerbread and i'm short a to be pad so i must have switched up the stock when i was entering the amounts i honestly don't know how i did that but i'm really disappointed and i looked up on joanne's app and they don't have the gingerbread fabric which sucks um i just feel really really bad i'm still gonna go tomorrow and hope that it just magically appears but i feel so bad that someone's like i just have to let someone know that they can't have that after they ordered it and then that's the one that people wanted to be brought back into stock again and now i can't do that so i also feel really bad i just don't know what i'm gonna do um i'm done for the night then and then i will pack the other orders tomorrow and run my errands but this is all the stock that i have left crazy so crazy hi it's wednesday and i'm about to package my last order and i saved this one for last because it was the biggest one and this one i had to combine multiple orders because they were multiple times too but as you saw the gingerbread fabric was at joanne's i was like so determined to get it i was like it's going to be there there's a reason they don't have it listed available online for some reason like maybe they only have a limited stock or whatever so they don't put it available to like ship or whatever i got it and i made it and i'm so happy and i seriously felt so bad for so long but i'm so happy i got it and i got more fabric which i will show you later but i'm gonna package this this is my last order and then we're gonna take some pictures and head to the post office and i have something exciting to show you later in the day and then i'm just gonna do my best to rest because i'm tired and i know i need to rest even though i'm so like motivated and want to keep going but let's package this order but all honesty i don't know how i'm gonna fit it in my biggest package that i have we're gonna try we're gonna stuff her real good i don't know if i'm gonna be able to do like my normal packaging or not but we'll find that out we both know this is temporary maybe we'll last to 
February. I lost control when you called me, baby. If I go down this road, you know you're coming with me. packing that now that wasn't the prettiest if this was your order i'm so sorry if you're watching this it was it was tough i did my best <laughs> now i'm going to do the refunds for her and get my order list cleared out and then i'm going to put on some makeup and we're going to take some pictures Hello, it's a while later. I've just been laying in bed because I am exhausted. First, I'm going to show you the fabric that I ended up getting today. So I got this blue one and I got a lot of it since this is a non-holiday one and I can just keep restocking it as it sells out. And then for the holiday ones, I of course got the gingerbread man one, super cute. And then the other ones that I found are these two. These ones sold out pretty quickly, so I got two more of these. And then another one that people wanted was the lights, but that one I ordered online, so I couldn't get it, but I found this one. It's not as cute as the other one, but I still think it's pretty cute, and I hope it makes cute like tube pads and tube clips. Sometimes it's hard to tell if like certain patterns will make cute ones, but I'm hoping that it does. The last one is this Christmas tree, which is also a new one, because I the other Christmas tree I ordered online as well, but I think this one is really cute. I don't know when that's gonna happen because I need to take a break. I know I need to take a break and like get caught up on just other random stuff and rest. Um, so I don't know when that's gonna happen, but hopefully soon. Now for the exciting part. I was debating on whether or not to make this a huge deal because I didn't want it to sound like I was bragging because I'm super thankful for having amazing people in my life that give me such amazing gifts and opportunities to just grow with my business and everything. It's honestly crazy and I feel like I don't deserve this at all but since really like going more into depth in my business I knew that I wanted to upgrade my sewing machine because there are certain aspects of it that I noticed over time are not ideal and definitely like slow me down in the process of making things and don't make them in the best quality I know that they can. So I knew for a while and I kind of knew from the start when I first bought that sewing machine like I'm like oh like if I ended up sewing a lot more I'm going to want to upgrade to just something more sturdy and nice but I didn't know when and I didn't want to upgrade until like I really felt more comfortable with sewing and knew what I wanted and what I liked and didn't like and everything and I was planning on waiting until I could purchase it myself but my boyfriend's mom so amazingly decided to gift me an early Christmas present of a new sewing machine and I honestly just can't believe it and I don't know how I got so lucky to be honest like I, I just don't know I feel just so blessed for everything that is happening in my life right now but I'm going to unbox this and set it up. I don't know how intricate I'm gonna set it up tonight because I'm still a bit tired and a little bit late but I might get too excited we'll see. So let's let's unbox this thing. So we got a Yuki. These are so hard to open. I got it open now. I always get so oh oh my gosh this looks so big oh my gosh I think this is just an empty box. I will have to check though. Gosh. To see the safest way to do this. Taking off the plastic, we have an instruction booklet, a foot pedal. Okay, I see this thing makes it look bigger than the... That scared me. It's just a cord. This thing made it look bigger than it actually is, but I guess this is the lid. I'm honestly so scared. Oh wait, oh my gosh. Ah. These people are a genius. They have a handle. That makes this so much easier. Okay, I'm gonna go put this on the desk and then we'll transfer to the desk. Okay, let's take this thing out of here. Before I do anything, I might look at the instructions first. Let's take some of this off. Okay, I don't even know how to lift the presser foot, so I'm just gonna leave that there for now. Then I think this, ooh, it's where you put the bobbin. This is interesting. This would be 
new to learn. Okay, I'm gonna read some instructions before doing anything else. I was wondering if this came with any accessories and I just slid this out from here and I think there's a secret compartment in here. Oh, there is. Okay, we have bobbins. We have all of my little presser feet. Okay, look at this. They're in little slots. That's so cute. No. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look. And there's more. We have more needles. This is like an industrial button foot. Look at this. I'm just going to leave this in here. I think these are the same size bobbins as the one I use now in my other machine, which is amazing. This is the foot pedal. Okay, now I'm going to read this. I finished reading the book. I read in depth the stuff that I need to worry about, but then when it gets to like specific stitching that I know at this point I'm not going to do, I kind of just browsed over that. But this looks pretty similar to my other machine, but more advanced, if that makes sense. So like, it's just, I just have to learn the new way of like threading this machine and winding the bobbin and everything like that. So I am going to go have something to drink and eat because I feel like my body is in need of some extra nutrients. I've been very active the past couple days. I feel like active, I mean, you guys will get it because you have illnesses. So our active is different than like running and doing sports and stuff, but I've been feeling past couple days i've just been more active like my body has moved been moving a lot more than it has been so i feel like i need a little more i'm just gonna go have a little drink and probably some like crackers or something and then i'll come back and play around with this oh yeah and i need to wash my table and remove my sewing machine from that one because i just want to set this up over there i'm hoping for another day no i won't make the same mistakes i'll be fine with you it's a while later actually i think it's like 40 minutes 50 whatever sorry if my gum annoys you i ate now i feel bad so i feel like more alive but then nauseous so it's like you know you can't you can't have a happy medium but let's whip this baby out this thing is so heavy instruction manual so one thing that made me pick this machine or that I knew I wanted to look for in a machine is for it to have a thread cutting option. I just think that's so cool and I feel like it's gonna be so much faster. Hold on. Put it this way. I think that's all. Let me see if it turns on first. Oh, this is scaring me. <laughs> New machines always scare me at first. Um, we are going to wind a bobbin. I just have to do it. The first time with these machines always scare me. I just feel like it's going to explode or something. Lace a thread spool on the spool's cap. Wait, was I not supposed to take this out? Wait. We're going to take an intermission. I'm already scared. I've decided that you just put it on here and then you put the cap on. Like that. Right. So step one, I put this on here and I put this little cap on. I'm nervous. Time to wind the bobbin. Let's wind this thing. I realized there's a picture right here. So through there. There we go. Okay. Wait. I'm trying to do it like my old one. What is clockwise? This way. One, two, three, four, five. Thread and the thread guide. Cut it. Oh, it's cut. It's cut. So now, apparently, if I push this little thing. You can't see what there's a little lever. Apparently if I push this to here, it's gonna start winding and then it's gonna stop automatically. I literally in my cry. That was the most beautiful bobbin winding I've ever seen in my life. Do you see that? It's now time to thread this beautiful machine. Through, up, down. Scrap fabric, let us try stitching. I was wondering why I was going so slow, but I realized it's on slow. We're gonna try cutting the threads. Oh gosh. P 
beautiful stitches. I just sewed my first to be pad on this machine and here she is. It sews like butter. It's beautiful. Wow. She feels like nice and secure. Like she's not coming apart at all. Wow. So cute. I'm excited. Okay, I need to clean up my room. It's a mess. Then I promise I'll be done for the night and I'll go rest for the rest of the night because it's like 8.15. So I'm going to rest. That's all. I think I'm actually going to end the video here because it's going to be long enough from this week's shen shenan shenanigans shenanigans that sounds so weird from <laughs> this week's shenanigans and unboxing and using this new sewing machine so yeah thank you so much for watching and for being here and just thank you again from the bottom of my heart my whole heart just for supporting me and giving me this amazing opportunity just to connect with people and make these products and everything and making this all possible and making my life better and everything just thank you so so much again i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to give this video a like and a comment and to subscribe for new videos every saturday and if you are watching this and you missed out on items on this launch follow my etsy instagram at threads of kindness co for updates on when i might release more patterns i don't know when it's gonna be because like i said i need to kind of rest and relax a bit but i'm gonna try to be more active on there in a sense like just post more updates as i go along and kind of engage with you guys probably mostly about by posting on my stories and stuff yeah go follow that if you want updates and i hope to see you in my next video Bye. Walk away.